In this video I will discuss brain health and longevity. It is not only about brain, about uh, all the body, but okay, let's, let's go and uh, about it is related to ketogenic diet. As always, I recommend to visitors of my channel to download presentation as PDF file from the link in the description. So you will go, go to the sources for information, can get deeper knowledge of this subject. And uh, okay, then uh, first I will, I will present my viewpoint of aging. This is a very different opinion from official uh, medical professionals. So because and also specialists who are working in aging, because I believe that this uh, the driving course, I mean the, the root course of the aging is loss of elasticity of the extracellular matrix. Okay, let's go. The aging process is largely driven by loss of elasticity in the, in the extracellular matrix, which provides structural support for the cells in our body and hardening, I mean, so, and stiffening of the blood vessels. This uh, persistently impairs blood circulation and cause, uh, causes low oxygen levels in tissues known as uh, chronic hypoxia. Under hypoxic conditions, cells switch to production of the energy molecules ATP by anaerobic glycolysis, a less efficient process that does not require oxygen. Low oxygen levels also harm the mitochondria, the organelles that generate most of ATP uh, molecules, this is, uh, the energy uh, molecules in cells, and lead to increased production of reactive oxygen species. Erectile oxygen species are unstable molecules that can uh, damage proteins and cellular membranes in cells. And as a consequence of this damage, some cells undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis and others enter a state of senescent or cellular aging. This is again uh, uh, the, the base of all aging and uh, we have to, I, at least I, I stay on it. Senescent cells have increased mitochondrial mass to support the production of these uh, pro-inflammatory uh, molecules, which are senescent associated secret secretory phenotype. And uh, then, however, these mitochondria are dysfunctional and senescent cells rely on glucose oxidation instead of fatty acids to generate uh, ATP, the energy currency in, uh, of the cell. This leads to lipid accumulation in vacuoles or droplets uh, and, and elevated uh, rectin oxygen species levels, which cause oxidative stress. Senescent cells uh, can also uh, acquire, acquire uh, amino acids uh, for synthesis of this SASP, senescent associated secretive phenotype, phenotype, by cannibalizing neighboring cells through phagocytosis. This is interesting, but moreover, uh, this SASP, it protects them, uh, it, 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 it can inhibit the clearance of senescent cells by immune cells. So you see, they are not only uh, in, uh, produce damage, but they are protected with this SASP molecules. Here we see these droplets, accumulation of uh, liquid droplets in the senescent cells. Senescent cells are normally larger in size. What is also is happening? Uh, so, uh, oxidation of pollen saturated fatty acids, which are accumulated here, and then uh, production of this uh, senescent associated secretive phenotype. Similar to cancer cells, senescent cells, senescent cells exhibit the Warburg effect, that is, senescent cells also, uh, also use anaerobic glycolysis in the cytoplasm to produce energy quickly. This results in increased concentration of lactic acid and organic acids from the Krebs cycle, which uh, reduce the pH of the uh, inflamed tissues. Supplementing with acids from the Krebs cycles or their salts, such as AKG, it is, uh, um, uh, okay, so, <laughs> pardon me, it is alpha ketoglutarate, <laughs> okay, alpha ketoglutarate, or citrates, in my opinion, citrates are beneficial, more beneficial, uh, may help reduce uh, tissue acidity and inflammation. You can read a uh, publication about uh, AKG, alpha ketoglutarate. Citrate uh, and other uh, Krebs cycles intermediate ha has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce inflammation in, in certain contexts. I use citric acid or lemon juice all every day. 
other uh, Krebs cycle intermediates like oxoacetate, uh, malic acid, and fumarate, uh, fumaric, fumaric acid can also have protective effects against oxidative stress. So you see, the Krebs cycle it is uh, it is producing uh, from pyruvic acid, from pyruvate, uh, py the uh, producing citrate. And then uh, isocitrate, alpha ketoglutarate, and then cinesic. Okay, so you see all this uh, malic acid, fumarate. Okay, sorry for my pronunciation. And again, this uh, supply of this uh, acids and salt of this acid are helpful for your health. And I believe that cit citrate is the, the best because it is in in the big, in very beginning of this Krebs cycle. It is okay. I, I will not go into details. But uh, again, in my opinion, citrate is easy and cheap uh, uh, way to improve your health. Uh, consumption of uh, lemon juice or citric acid. Aging is associated with diabetes and insulin resistance. Neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer and Parkinson's are sometimes referred to as uh, type 3 diabetes because they involve reduced insulin sensitivity in cells and compromised glucose metabolism in the brain. Actually, nerve cells suffer from starvation even at high glucose levels uh, when uh, they, they develop this insulin uh, uh, resistance. And high level of insulin and brain tissues may result also in cross-linking of the insulin molecules and formation of amyloid beta and tau aggregates in the form of fiber. They block the insulin receptors and produce other detrimental effects to brain tissues. The brain can use alternative energy sources such as ketone bodies produced in the liver. Ketone bodies are beneficial for the brain as they can cross blood brain barrier and produce and uh, they provide efficient fuel for, for neurons. Okay, you see that the high uh, concentration of insulin is blocking uh, the insulin receptors and eventually because they, uh, they get an um, polymerized crosslink and it is blocked and uh, then uh, the neurons or brain cells cannot uh, use uh, glucose even at high concentration. So, and what is happening, uh, accumulation of this uh, beta uh, of these uh, fibers of uh, amyloid beta and tau aggregates. Uh, this is what happened. Pardon for noise. Uh, ketone bodies are often considered indicators of pathological conditions such as starvation, extreme exercise, or diabetic ketoacidosis. However, ketosis can be a normal state of the body when fats are used as a main source of energy. Ketone bodies are preferable fuel for muscle tissues and kidneys. Ketone bodies may also have neuroprotective effects as they can modulate inflammation, oxidative stress in mitochondrial function. Some studies have shown that inducing ketosis, even by fasting, uh, either, either by fasting or by following a ketogenic diet, can improve cognitive, uh, cognitive functions and symptoms in Alzheimer patients. Therefore, it is possible that amyloid beta and tau uh, fiber accumulation are not the primary causes of neurodegeneration, but rather the consequences of chronic hyperinsulinemia and uh, glucose dependence in brain. So again, ket ketosis is a normal state of the body, and uh, especially in uh, old age, it is just uh, cannot be another option. This is a ketogenic keto, keto body, ketonic body. It's a, this is the main uh, beta uh, hydroxybutyrate is the main uh, ketonic body, and uh, acetoacetate it is well, it is less efficient. Many forms of brain injury are characterized by disruption of uh, blood-brain barrier in chronic inflammation in brain tissue. We know that if a diet includes grains and gluten. A leaky gut syndrome may develop, and leaky gut syndrome is penetration of toxins, gluten, and pathogens into the bloodstream from the intestines. The consequences of uh, this uh, syndrome include the development of the immune disorders. A high level of glucose may also result in damage to the glycocalyx, which is a protective layer lining the blood vessels. The glycocalyx damage ignites local inflammation that eventually may develop into disruption of the blood brain barrier, penetration of toxins and chronic inflammation of brain tissues. 
Therefore, a proper diet is important for brain health and longevity. So what is happening again? Uh, the blood brain, uh, blood, blood brain barrier can be disrupted uh, if uh, in case of uh, not proper diet. But what is interesting, I didn't mention it here, but uh, just uh, mind that uh, magnesium is very important f- to prevent uh, the disruption. And so it is not only ketogenic diet, but magnesium supply of magnesium and supplementing of magnesium uh, as well as potassium absolutely important for uh, brain tissue and again i i use it uh, what uh, magnesium uh, in form of magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride or i mean uh, magnesium citrate also works no problem during long fasting ketone bodies are one of the main sources of energy for brain i even alzheimer patients begin to feel better in the state of ketosis or fasting also, uh, intermittent fasting or restricted time eating allows repair of the epithelium layer in the guts and reduces influx of toxins into the bloodstream. Eventually, it may help uh, f- uh, fight uh, autoimmune disorders and brain tissue inflammation. Neurodegeneration can also be caused by hypertension and vascular damage, which leads to neuronal death and cognitive declines. Uh, tiny areas of dead neurons caused by damage uh, to blood capillaries accumulate over many ages. I, again, uh, in my opinion, again, I always express it that the uh, main cause of hypertension is stiffening of blood vessels due to cross-linking of collagen fibers with sugar molecules. So the reduction in blood glucose level has, uh, has many uh, health benefits because at least it is uh, slowed down the cross-linking of this uh, collagen fibers and uh, it is reducing the stiffening of the uh, blood vessels and capillaries, so it is very healthy. So okay, here we see this, uh, what is happening in case of stroke. Uh, and uh, if you have hypertension, uh, it is like oxidative stress, cell death, and, and permeability of brain b- b- blood barrier, and etc. etc. So quite b- b- big problem. But again, the root cause is cross-linking of collagen because of high concentration of glucose in blood. So if you want to stay healthy, especially in old age, there is no alternative but uh, a ketogenic diet, whole okay. ketogenic diet. I, I, I talk about this many times and I will ca- also talk maybe in future videos about this, okay. So the standard um, uh, is, uh, uh, <clears throat> so I'm not medical professional, I'm scientist, uh, I'm specialist actually in physics and mathematics, but biology also was my patient. So I tried to work in this uh, area, and my because I, I I was not zombified by medical uh, education, my opinion is very much different from official uh, medical uh, uh, medical opinion. And again, my goal is uh, I'm absolutely different because my goal is a radical lifespan extension. It is up to few hundred years, maybe a thousand years. I believe it is possible and many indications in, uh, in the nature gives us that it is possible and uh, brain health is critical because if your brain will not work why do you need a longer life it is it would be nightmare okay so i hope you enjoy this video uh, please support to support my channel uh, press like and bell buttons subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends uh, again uh, i i am not getting any other support and no, no, no financial support because my goals is completely different from agenda of the this, um, our societies. And I also expressed my opinion that if you think that uh, public, um, if uh, I will disclose all secrets and uh, all this longevity, uh, radical lifestyle, pain extension to public, it will be disaster actually. If people will live few hundred years, uh, all civilization will collapse. Already we, we are uh, in the stage of uh, civilization collapse. Why? Because, again, uh, uh, people live too long. <laughs> so only a few people, I believe that only a few people can live uh, long enough. And uh, this, it takes, it's not easy, it's not easy. You have to be prepared to, to, to some suffering, at least suffering. Okay, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.